What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about a really cool new species of lizards we're going to start to work with. They are the Japanese cave geckos and we actually have a little bit of a variety of them. We're going to show you the different types and colors that, that we have and uh, we're very excited to work with these guys. So today we're going to show you guys three different types of Japanese cave geckos But before we did that we wanted to show you the setup where we keep them in now These guys are cooler temperature animals. They like a cooler climate So you're gonna want to keep them in the low 70s even the high 60s is good for them So you don't want to get them too hot at all anything above like 80 degrees could really stress them out and and possibly even kill them so um, when it comes to the setup though, we what you want to do is you want to set up uh, the substrate very, something that's going to hold the humidity very well, kind of like this moss. This is sphagnum moss, so what we do is we give it a good layer, that way it can hold, you know, a good amount of humidity. We want to give them, uh, you know, a very big hide so they can hide in. I also like to give these uh, um, bounty roll rolls. <laughs> Or whatever so they could hide in as well just create a couple different visual barriers with these plants here and we also like to provide a water dish because depending on where you are uh, the humidity can escape a lot easier you know some places in even in the same state some places in Florida will have lower humidity than others especially when we're talking about indoors if it's close to the AC or whatnot but this is one of the Toyami Japanese cave geckos and this is a very rare species we actually don't get a lot of these at all and this one here they're very skittish lizards not something that you would want to handle or anything but they are very beautiful as you can see now uh, like we said high humidity for this species and a lot cooler than some of the other uh, geckos that we usually keep and they are insect eaters so they're gonna eat you know a wide variety of insects with the staple being you know gut loaded crickets dusted with calcium with vitamin d3 another look at their enclosure here is very simple creating a lot of visual barriers with the plants a couple hides and that's what's gonna make these guys happy <laughs> then he scurries out of here so right here, I'm about to show you the most popular of the Japanese cave geckos. When you say Japanese cave geckos, most people immediately think you're talking about this one. And I'll show you exactly why they're, in my opinion, the most gorgeous out of all of them. So these guys have these brilliant orange bands cutting across from all the way from the tip of his nose all the way down to the base of the tail and even some orange like light peachy oranges on the t on the tail as well very stunning gecko the cool thing about these cave geckos too is they don't get very big um i would say they get like a bit smaller than leopard geckos definitely more slender as well so they don't require too much of a like a big cage as you can see we keep these guys some of these guys in shoebox tubs similar to the crested geckos but as David mentioned earlier, just a lot more humid. Um, these guys do come from caves, so that ecosystem is very damp and humid most of the time. So this is the Orientalis. This is the most popular of the Japanese cave geckos, and look at that red eye, so cool. That's a cool lizard. Yeah. And we're actually keeping a couple of these pairs. Um, these guys are pretty uncommon. They're pretty rare geckos and it's something we've admired for a long time and hopefully we have a lot of success breeding, the, especially these guys. These are the ones I'm more hopeful for because look at that, man. Just look at their colors. Just absolutely stunning little geckos. And this one's a male. You can tell from the little hemipeno bulge you can see right there sticking out. Still a juvenile, still young, still has a lot of growing to do, but it's going to be a killer killer project to work with so this one is g splendens i'm not even gonna attempt to say the genus name but this is another form of japanese cave geckos 
and you see these have a couple a little bit of different markings these are called the banded japanese cave geckos they're just like a different locality if i'm not mistaken but very beautiful lizards as well we set them all up the same exact way we're gonna see if they want to eat something right now So cool. As you can see, these guys have more of that reduced orange patterning in compared to the uh, to the others that we just showed. Um, so that's why it gives them more of a banding coloration, which is where they get their name. Yes. I don't want to bother him too much so he could get a good meal. But um, basically, same exact setup. Lots of moss. Very humid moss. Uh, we have a lot of visual barriers. These leaves, they will make them feel secure. And a hide right here. They could crawl in that hide. And a little water dish. Temperature is about 75 at most during the day. Mostly like around the low 70s. And at night it could drop into the 60s. And the humidity is going to be about 80%. So here's another one of the banded Japanese cave geckos and they are absolutely so beautiful but very very skittish animal not something we would recommend if you want to handle your gecko you almost got like purple bands to them it's really cool look at that there's some crickets in there that's gonna freak them out i ain't throwing the crickets everywhere except <laughs> I thought that one was gonna dangle in front of his face. Yeah. So the last type of Japanese cave gecko we're gonna show you are these Yamashine or something. Sorry, can't pronounce that. But they're actually yellow and they are super skittish as well. You can see we're trying not to lose them. Many. Wait, 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 man, I don't have them yet. Oh, crap. They jump too. Don't let them fool you. <laughs> they jump. They absolutely do jump. Wait, wait. But they're really pretty geckos. So they're look, they look similar to the Orientalis, except they are yellow. And you can see they got those mustard eyes as well. The black background with the yellow banding and overall crazy pattern. But uh, just super cool lizards, man. And we're keeping these because we want to maybe breed them in the future. We got a male and a female pair. This is the male, as you can see. It has a hemipenal bulge like most gecko species. And that's a cool gecko. All right, guys, that wraps up another video. Thanks for watching. And make sure you guys follow us on all of our social media platforms. We have Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. Twitter, TikTok. I'm running out of fingers. We have so many different outlets. Make sure you follow us on all of them. We do post individual content on every single one of them. So if you like our stuff, make sure you hit that follow button.